Team, keep it clean. Long time no see, right? What's going on? It's Ain't Raven here with another video, and we are going to talk about the real reason that these Baltimore Ravens, they signed another quarterback, and that, of course, being Josh Johnson, which was announced last week. But before we get into that, a couple things I got to check in with y'all. How, how y'all doing? How, how you doing? Just put it in the comment section, good or bad. How are you doing? Because one thing that I've learned uh, over time is important obviously to check in with people, but it's important as somebody who you, you need to be checked in on because it's important not to hold stuff in uh, because it helps so much. Because me, again, I'm somebody who I don't like my business out there like that, and I will keep a lot of stuff in. But what I've learned, especially with that whole YouTube situation, it's good to get it out because it helps. It's good to let people know about stuff because it helps. Um, so how y'all doing? Put in the comment section. Let us know. Uh, again, good or bad. Hopefully everything's good, but it's, re it's real life. So I know there's going to be some bad as well. But hopefully uh, we can encourage you. Team Keep It Clean can encourage you because uh, I'm sure it's somebody else that's been through something that you may be going through if it is something that you're going through. Uh, so I, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Uh, and we just we got to do that check in real quick. Um, another thing, shout out to the newest Team Keep It Clean patrons. Uh, shout out to Chocolate Lady Cap. I uh, appreciate you and Shatara as well. Uh, much love to the both of y'all. If any of y'all would like to become a patron, you can go to patreon.com slash visit. Shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean channel members too. Um, and really just everybody, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. Because again, a lot of people watching. Amazing. Thank you so much. We, we appreciate it. But make sure you subscribe. And not only subscribe, but turn notifications on as well. All right, let's get into it. So um, the Ravens had a presser uh, a few days ago. And it's funny because uh, it was with Lamar, with Roquan Smith, with Tyler Linderbaum, uh, and with John Harbaugh. I feel like I'm missing somebody. Uh, but anyway, uh, so those people were part of the press conference. And it was the press conference where they were just slipping in some stuff. Lamar had slipped in something where he talked about, oh, uh, yeah, Rashad, Rashad, that's our number one right there. He talked about Rashad being the, the number one receiver. And I, I think that would be great. Now, I know it's all this DeAndre Hopkins talk right now, too. You know I wouldn't mind now. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Again, my expectations for the Ravens adding DeAndre, I don't think, but we'll see. Anything's possible to the lane, possible to more. Now, um, John Harbaugh, he also slipped something in there real quick, real quick. And I ain't really seen nobody talking about it. I didn't see nobody talking about it, and I think it is very, very significant because I, I forgot who it was, which report it was that asked John Harbaugh about uh, Josh Johnson. I think they, they asked him, like, what was the reason behind adding Josh Johnson? Would you add Josh Johnson for? And I remember when the Ravens first signed Josh Johnson, I was like, oh, okay, he's back again. Cool, no problem. Um, I'm sure they just wanted another camp arm um, because that's – that that's five quarterbacks now. Before I thought they they only had uh three quarterbacks, and then Josh Johnson was the fourth. I thought it was just Lamar Jackson, uh, Tyler Huntley, Anthony Brown, and then Josh Johnson made it four. But they had they actually signed uh, a while back. They actually signed an undrafted free agent quarterback, so they already had four. And Josh Johnson is five, uh, so I had to correct that. But anyway, um. With the signing, John Harbaugh was like, oh, yeah, 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 he's going to be competing for the number two spot. And he he just slipped it in there casually, like, didn't make a big deal of it. Like, But I think that is significant. It is significant. Because for years, that number two spot has been Tyler Huntley's, and Tyler Huntley's alone. Like, it has not belonged to, went to anybody else. Well, obviously, when Lamar was hurt, things changed. Uh, because Tyler Huntley then went to be the number one quarterback, and Anthony Brown went to be in number two. Um, but Tyler Huntley been holding down that number two spot for for years now. So to bring in Josh Johnson to compete for that number two spot, it's like, oh, oh, okay, okay. But what could possibly have led them to that decision? Like, what, what was it? What, what what made you bring in Josh Johnson to compete with Tyler Huntley? For the number two spot, because I mean, after all, I think in um, especially in the playoff game, like Tyler Huntley was like, I, and I know about the whole fumble and all that one, but he was solid. He was solid. But you see, I um, I I got no problem with them bringing in competition because competition 
it's either two things gonna happen when competition is brought in. Two things can happen. Two, two things are guaranteed to happen when competition is brought in, and they are both extremes. It will either bring in the best, bring the best out of you, or to bring the worst out of you. There's no in between. Think about it. Think about if if you're at your job. If you're at your job and um, you've been working there for a couple of years, so things been cool, whatnot. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. They bring in somebody um, that could possibly take your job, or they are competing with you at your job. The way that that makes you feel, you could be like, oh, you can feel, you're gonna feel two two things. One of the one of two things. You're gonna either gonna feel like, man, this is disrespectful. They bringing somebody. I, I done been here. And they bringing somebody else to compete with me at my job. Why would they do that, man? This company, forget this company. You know what? I'm out of here. And you could mentally check out, and then physically you could end up checking out too if you quit or got fired. But that's one extreme. But then another extreme that you could think, oh, oh, they bringing in somebody to oh to compete with me. Oh, okay, okay, that's cool. All right, uh, l- let me just. Show them again. Let me prove to them again why this is a mistake and that this person is not going to compete with me. And I got this. I got it. So I ain't worried about that person. Oh, yeah, it's cool. They brought them in, but they ain't messing with me. And then it could bring out the best in you because you competing and trying to show your company that, hey, you don't need that other person. You got me. That can bring out the best in you. So that's why I say whenever competition is brought in, it's going to be one of two extremes. So with Tyler Huntley, like he 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 been coasting. He's been coasting as a number two quarterback for you. Ravens ain't brought in no competition for no number two quarterback. They ain't brought in no competition. Now we remember, uh now we don't know if this was for number one or number two quarterback, but uh of course they, they did try to sign Baker Mayfield this offseason. Baker Mayfield said no, no thing. I wonder how much that contract would have been for. But yeah, they tried to sign Baker Mayfield this offseason. He said, no, I'm straight. And I get it, cause again, he probably thought uh, Lamar would be back there. And then um, they tried to sign, oh, the quarterback who went to the Washington, Jacoby Brissett. Jacoby Brissett. So they they tried to sign all these old Browns quarterbacks. But anyway, they tried to sign Jacoby Brissett. So again, didn't work out. Didn't work out. So this off season, and you know what? You know somebody who was on that. Before it even happened, Jeff Srivik. Jeff Srivik, I, I this article just came to my mind. There was an article that he wrote uh, way before the Ravens even tried to sign Baker Mayfield. But it was an article that he wrote this offseason that talked about how he felt like the Ravens would. And, you know, Jeff is like, he's in tune with the Ravens. Obviously, he's been covering them for years, been doing a phenomenal job of it. Jeff is the best at what he does. Um, but he wrote an article. Uh, a while back this offseason that talked about how he expected the Ravens to really try to upgrade their number two quarterback spot. He said he really expected them to do that. And I'm thinking like, what? Like Tyler Huntley's a restricted free agent. Why would they do that? Like they, they got somebody there already. Who said? But hey, Jeff was on it and he was right. He was right. So and then in in that article, he specifically named Baker Mayfield as somebody that the Ravens could try to sign because he's talked about how Steve Bashotti really liked Baker Mayfield, especially coming out the draft, how they really like Baker Mayfield coming out the draft. Um, And boom, they try to sign Baker Mayfield. So Jeff was on it to a T. So y'all make sure y'all check out Jeff's work on the athletic because he'll put you on before you on And, and and. He's on point with it, man. So shout out to Jeff. Um, but yeah, so it makes sense. It, it, it makes sense. Um, them bringing in Josh Johnson. Josh Johnson, somebody who obviously got all the experience in the world. Now, as far as upside, and, and judging upside is really tough with a number two quarterback. Because they're the number two quarterback. They're not the number one. So they're expected to have a, a limited role uh, if a role at all um, because their primary job um, is to just hey stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready I'm sure y'all heard that before somewhere but stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready so be ready to go in just in case for any reason um, and that's that so with Josh Johnson and all of his experience all the different teams he done been on Ravens being one of them um, I guess they were like you know what come on in 
we got some competition to do. Or, I mean, John Harbaugh saying that he's competing for the number two quarterback spot. Maybe could have just been talked to just hype Hunley up and just try to make give Hunley some motivation to just be better or something like that. Who knows? But, no, that is um, – that is significant, though. Uh, it, it is significant that uh, they're doing that. So we'll see how things end up working themselves out. Um, but anyway, so team, keep it clean. I, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Let's, let's see how this competition unfolds and see if it brings out the best in Tyler Huntley or he ends up checking out. I, I don't think he'll end up checking out, though, because he, he got a nice little gig, man. Number two quarterback for the Baltimore Ravens. So he getting ready to go win the Super Bowl. Let me, let me stop talking. Let me stop talking. Let me stop talking. But yeah, man. So and, and Tyler Huntley, like, he's meant I feel like he's meant to be the number two quarterback because his jersey number two. His jersey number is two. So he's set, man. So but after this season, we want Lamar to change his jersey number to number one. And I know y'all know the reason why. But anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a like on the video if if you like the videos. Click a thumbs up button. It takes less than a second. But I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for supporting like crazy. Um, and I hope that all of y'all, I seriously hope that all of y'all are doing really, really, really good. And if you're not, it's okay to share it. It's okay to share what's going on. Um, and hopefully we can uh, we can give you some encouragement um, today. Uh, and really just every day, any day. Um, but I appreciate y'all. You all are very, very special to me. Uh, you all have been very, very encouraging to me uh, over the years. Um, seriously, uh, you all have, uh, like, you, you just I feel like y'all may not know how powerful your words are, um, uh, words of encouragement, just words of positivity, um, because they, they, they mean a lot to me, seriously. If I'm looking through, like, the comment section or whatnot, and just, it's just, it's special, man. It's special. Y'all are, uh, y'all are really good people. So I, I just want y'all to know that, that I really appreciate y'all. Uh, anyway, team, keep it clean. Much love, and we out.